Do we call you MP Jasper Mtarajiwa <laughs> ama tukuita MC Jesse? <laughs> Mimi ukiniita Jesse ni sawa. Ni sawa. Maskini wa area yeah. walikuwa wanajua kuna maskini wengine hatari kuliko hao. We were more poor than poor people. Hey. Yeah, we were we poor than poor people. But I knew mm. inside me mm. this is not my destiny. What will be your view when you get into parliament to change this narrative that most of our elected young leaders do not champion youth rights? I want to believe mm. that when I get there, sit and atunilale. There is a difference between Sasa JC, kila mtu akona strength zao. Welcome to this episode of History Makers. Uh, on this episode, I'm honored to host one of my good friends, a former journalist, a comedian, a guy who has hosted very many shows today. is on the other side of the, the, the divide, and a guy who is aspiring to be an MP for Imenti Central. Welcome, South. Jesse. Imenti South. South. South Imenti. South Imenti. Yes. Ah. Si centro. Ah ah, huko ndio ilikuwa imanyara. Ile ilikuwa imanyara. Hii yangu ilikuwa kiraitu Murungi before. Oh, then Murungi. Honorable Kaduri Murungi. Murungi. Then next is Honorable Jesse Jasper Mudomi. Yes. <laughs> Karibu bwana Jesse. <laughs> Asante sana. So well, do we call you MP Jasper Mtarajiwa <laughs> ama tukuita MC Jesse. Sasa MC na Mimi ukiniita Jesse ni sawa. Ni sawa. Kwa sababu kuna tofauti ya now we'll be having mm. we'll be having uh, we have titles that are going to follow when you get this seat. Yes. But for us mm. young people that we are getting into leadership yes. we want to go with issues mm. about titles we don't care. <laughs> we want to go and to kwetu watu wa kawaida. So, people are mistaking the fact that I'm from the person I've been the, that they've known on TV yes. to the person I'm becoming mm. member of parliament. Yeah. I am still Jesse. You are will you still yeah, I'm crack going comedy? to wear yeah. an higher responsibility, a higher garment of responsibility. I'm going to my next assignment. So what is in, what is inspiring you to uh, look for this position or to vie for this position? Well, uh, I've been working. Mm. In as much as I'm, I've been a comedian and mm. I've been a, an artist in all ways and a TV host, mm. uh, I've been working mm. in the community. Even mm. in Meru, yes. in my community, mm. I've been serving very, very well. If mm. you go to my area, I've yes. been doing a lot in my area, that mm. is Igoji. Igoji. I've been working there with a lot of, uh, what are they called, uh, the needy families. Yes. In our community-based organizations. I've CBOs. Been with, the, with the CBOs. Yeah. I've been assisting them. Mm. Is, do you, did you know it has been nine years now? What? While still working with them. Yeah. In Meru itself, the yeah. whole of Meru County, yes. I worked with the creatives to mm. bring about the talents that are in the community. Yeah. Were it not for what we did that time mm. or on what we have been doing, mm. Aunga is here, mm. artists from Meru. No, Meru's we know they can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> but Who now you have Meru musicians. Yes, so now we have Meru musicians. <laughs> Actually, it used to pain me when I heard that yeah. Meru's can't sing. But the, and I knew yes. I know some guys who are talented mm. in Meru. So what we did, we started some initiatives in Meru. Yes. We were the first people to mm. have one of the biggest concerts mm. in Meru. We participated, I actually told Churchill, mm. in as much as, as I'm here, mm. I, worked, I work very closely with the government there. That yes. time it was Governor Peter Munya. Yes. I told him, I work very closely with Governor Peter Munya. Mm. I, I am very, fam uh, very familiar with other leaders in mm. that constituency. Mm. And so we need to do something where? There. In the I know mm. my young people there mm. need me. I knew mm. for a fact mm. that in as much as God has blessed me to be this wonderful uh, guy on TV and all that, mm. I had the responsibility back there to give back to, to, the, give society. Back to the society, to uplift those talents. And so we went back there first mm. with Churchill Show. So you and settled did for a big one. Igoji is your hometown. Igoji is my home ward. ward yes. Igoji East, East plus Igoji West. There's no difference. There's no Igoji difference. is one. I know it's one. These are administratively in the Tunetua, Igoji East and Igoji West, yeah. but it's just Igoji. You are the people from Igoji. And then there's Abogeta, East uh -huh. and West, uh -huh. Nkuene, and Metongo Ward. The they will be in my constituency. The only guy I knew from Igoji from this standard me media group was Benson Riongo. Yes, Riongo is <laughs> from Riongo is Yes. But 
uh, apart from many artists have joined uh, politics. Of course, KJ mm -hmm. was in comedy, managed to get into parliament. Mdomobagi aspired to be, Kajairo aspired to be, and young musicians, of course, Jaguar is there. But we are not seeing commendable change in that area on policy, on youth projects. What will be your view when you get into parliament to change this narrative that most of our elected young leaders do not champion youth rights? Well, first of all, I've never been to parliament. Mm. So when you counted all the ones that have been there, yes. I didn't hear you count me. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll not be able to speak for the ones that already We've went. Been there, yes. But if the young <coughs> people are feeling uh, mm. I'm mm. not sure about that narrative mm. because we have not gone to Dagoretti constituency mm. to vet Kama the KJ Amefanya Kazi or not. not yes. We have not gone to Nyali to check MJ, the development yes. scorecard for Muhammad Ali. Yes. We have not gone to Starehe. So, so we Jagu. don't have the statistics for Jagu. <laughs> yes. we have, when you talk of young people, did you know that the South Mugirango, a member of parliament, uh, Silvanas Osoro, Osoro, is also a young, young no, parliamentarian? No, I know. Yes, These I are know. youths. Yes, there I are know. many. But now I, I assume we are talking about the artists. The artists. Artists. Yes, Mohamed artists. Ali is not an artist. Not an artist. That's He's why I excluded him. Yes. yes. So the artists are KJ, KJ and, of Jaguar. Course, and Jaguar. We have not gone to their constituencies mm. to actually... Check verify the, yeah. to verify mm. so we are not uh, we can't sit and talk about them for now however mm. i can talk about jesse yes. going into parliament mm. first of all i have a bill that already we are preparing mm. we are getting ready because i want to believe mm. that when i get there sit and atuni lale there is a difference between sasa jesse Kila mtu akona strength zao. Mm. Uh, when you go to KJ, he has his own strength. When you go to Jaguar, he has his own strength. Mm. Now, Jesse has not been tested. Mm. But I've been tested in the industry where I'm coming from. Mm. And the industry that I'm coming from, we have always referred to it as the entertainment industry. Mm. I don't want to call it entertainment industry. Mm. For me, I've always been angered by the fact that mm. we don't have an identity. Artists, we don't. Mm. When we began the comedy, we don't even have an identity <laughs> in this country. Yes. An artist does not have an identity. Ata to kirifa to jagwa to namuita muheshimiwa MP. But yes. before then, he didn't have an identity. He was just a musician. Yes. KJ, a comedian. Mm. Therefore, mm. we have participated in uplifting the gifts mm. of the talents in this country. Mm. Not only South Event. Mm. We are talking about the, about the country, mm. Kenya. Mm. And when we talk about the artists, the issues we have gone through, mm. problems, mm. we've seen even artists go on, uh, on uh, social media on a changiwa pesa. A lot. A lot All yeah. these are because you have not addressed the root cause, cause yeah. of the problems that artists are going through. Mm. Right now, I'm seeing members of parliament going around gathering artists. Wanawambia tutawasaidia. But what you want to do is Mm. Then to take some money there, Muneza borrow, mm. Tuneza, Wapatia Mikopo. But you have not addressed the issue mm. of the artist. Mm. Ata Kikopa, Ata Lipa Nanini. Peter, artist doesn't have money. Yeah. The solution mm. is a bill that I will table in Parliament. What is you the ask bill? Ask me yes. about the bill. What is that the bill? Artists have not tabled bills where in? In, in parliament. parliament. I have a bill that I'm preparing. Mm. Through the help of our lawyers, I know I'll be able to. Yes. The bill is the Creative Economy Council y yes. of Kenya that I mm -hmm. want to propose. Mm -hmm. In this country mm. the creative economy bill mm. is for the entertainment that we, i'm saying we are not go going to call it again entertainment industry it's, it's going to be economy. called creative economy mm. the creative economy is what i want to table in parliament mm. this bill is going to have mm. all these issues about the artists being addressed number one mm. i want to take an example of that simple thing of identity mm. leo do you know the musician called samido of course he's a police officer yes Juzi, we had curfew. Mm. Now, if Samido Amenda usiku wa kutana na polisi, ambwe si mama, <laughs> identify yourself. Kwa sababu ni essential services. Yes. Atatua kitambulisho gani? Atatua ya polisi. Ya polisi, ya hacho ya yes. ende. Yes. Nyuma yake kuna MCJs. Atashigo. Ame toka mahali kufa, kuchekesha watu. <laughs> Ame fika ambwe eh, kitambulisho ya kazi. Which one will I give? Jitajaribu kutua ya Jasper Mudiogo. Jitajaribu kujitetea na sura. Yes. Ati mimi diyo mnaunanga kwa TV. Yes. Natafuta ata kiti ya mbunge. Yeah. Mm. I don't have an identity. Yeah. Therefore, what you are saying is this. Okay, what if there is a journalist behind those people? Mm. Amekuja. These journalists are employed on a standard group or any on other media. Or any ata, eh, which card atatumia kujidentify? Mm. 
is a press card yes. from where? MCK. The Media Council mm. of Kenya. Mm. So these artists don't have an identity. I would want and I would wish, and this is what I'll table in Parliament. Mm. Let's have artists identified by the Creative Economy Council of Kenya. I'm proposing a council for the creative economy. Do you know a lady called Aziad? She's yes. the best TikToker in this country. Nothing she yet. doesn't have an identity. <laughs> <laughs> Akipita hapo ukimuuliza who are you? Atakwambia I'm a TikToker. No, she's a creative. She's a content provider. Kuna content creator. Yeah. Content creator. They yeah. don't have an identity. Mm. It's a whole industry. When we talk about the industry when Malisisi mm. to when we when I'm doing content, mm. there's a guy behind the scenes. There is that guy behind this camera. Yeah. There is other guy yeah. behind this yeah. camera. Yeah. Kama wako standard, wangekua waja employee wa hapa standard media mm -hmm. group, mm -hmm. and we are working with them outside. Mm -hmm. What will be the identity if they are working for MCJC? What will I give them? So this is part of the creative economy. When we do this show, when I'm done with my comedy shows, mm -hmm. when I'm done with my TV hosting, mm -hmm. to end it, show it mm -hmm. that person is working under me. Iyo uyo mtu ni nani? Then the accountant Mwenyatalipu and KTN because of bringing my show here. That person is working. Mm. Yes, it's And uh, who? Kumbuka wato wako ni Jesse. And then there are camera is, people. Yes. There is the Many editor. people behind There is the accountant. Mm. Do you know we market our shows? Ndiyo tupate pesa za kuendelea kufanya. That's why we will say we are taking a commercial break and we will be back after the break. Those commercials, who are the people selling? My team, my mm. sales team. Mm. Ndiyo kipindi yangu ikuja on KTN. I need my team to negotiate with your team. Who are these people that are negotiating? They all don't have an identity. So Therefore, the bill. creative economy billion and Taenda table in Parliament mm -hmm. is going to give these people mm -hmm. an identity because we want them, mm -hmm. we want the government to form the Creative Economy Council of Kenya, mm -hmm. where artists now are going to register mm -hmm. and have an identity. Just like the Media Council of Kenya, they are going to register there with their content. We are going to create how they are going to be vetted mm -hmm. to qualify to be under the Creative Economy Council of Kenya. Once they get an identity, mm. now we can talk about the council asking the media to, to play 80% <laughs> of the content in, 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 pro, this, in this country. country. It is true even what Eric Omondi was doing. It's just that equal inverted. Yes. When you travel, I've traveled mm. far and wide mm. to do art. Yes. When you go to Nigeria, mm. they don't play even Kenyan music. They, they don't play, play our this. movies. Mm. They don't play our comedies. Mm. When you go to Tanzania here, they don't care anything about Kenyans. Mm. When you go to even South Africa, we, they don't know us. When you go to Uganda, mm. our, they don't know us. <laughs> they don't know they us. Don't they don't play our music. They don't play our music. They don't play our movies. They don't play anything from Kenya. But for us here, we, we are everything. the champions. Mashabik. Wakila, Wakila kitu. kitu. <laughs> Naija, today Wizkid is launching a music. We will play it before Nigerians. In our stations. In our stations <laughs> here. So Diamond will aspire to launch a new song. In we Kenya. will tease about it. He hasn't paid anybody. But Calligraph attenda ku launch muziki yake. Mm. The only place what I'm support, I mm. tell you, mm. ni YouTube too. Na kwa Instagram yake at ya, go OG. But besides that, akuna. Akuna there's no corporates. So in the creative economy bill mm. that I'm tabling into parliament, mm. we are going to have the council mm. give orders because it will be the regulator. We don't need Eric Omondi a chapo viboko huku kwa barabara ki demonstrate. But, but what was Eric doing? Yeah, you see? Yeah. He was doing the right thing. Yeah. Like he design flani, you know. Ata mimi nili, nili sema, ah, Eric, it's okay. It's okay, but... It's me. okay, you do it, but yeah. I know for sure yes. there is a better, decent way of, of doing, doing it. it. Of course. And this, the decent way is what I'm telling you. I will table to Parliament the bill, the Creative Economic Council of Kenya that is going to help all the artists. Now, the council, mm. wakati uku uku na cheza cheza watu wa clinic, mm. watu wa clinic na some funny funny hospitals, mm. wakijaribu kufanya kazi, what happens? There is a council headed by Daniel Yumbia, a good friend of mine, anaenda mm. anafunga hizo Mdu hospital clinics, yeah. Mtu yeah. alicheza cheza juzi yapa na vaccine. Mm. What happened? Daniel Yumbia is like a lion. He came on mm. them. Mm. Akambia hii mtafunga hii hospital. We need a council with a lion like that. To regulate. When you have to regulate all this. Because there's also a lot of things beyond the performances. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things about, we talk about whether it is the right content. Mm -hmm. And how do we make 
content that has, makes everyone comfortable to watch. Yes, that is under Kenya Film and Classifications Board. Mm. But what we need is the council, mm. the Creative Economy Council, who will be the overseer of oh. all these other bodies because it is the one that will be in touch directly with mm. the artist. Mm. Because mm. once we start playing also, mm. it is the media that, the, the Creative Economy Council of Kenya, that will authorize as an authority for the creative economy, for Jesse, for this other guy Mwenyako South Imenti, Anajaribu Kuimba content yake can be posted by anybody. For that person, it will be the council that will be able to authorize Izo station zote za kimeru kuambia utakuwa mnacheza nyimbo za hawa watu wenu wa meru. Wacheni kutuchezea zenye watu wajui. Kwa zukienda station ya kimeru, they still play diamond song. They still play <laughs> Naija song at some point. Na reggae. Na kuna reggae za kimeru zimeimbwa na vijana wa meru. Wa meru wa naipa reggae? Kuna kama marete my friend. Akikura pia hapa utashanga. We have benga. Benga ya meru. Sung by a guy called Nati Mwalimu. You know we that. have muziki kama za kina diamond yeah. sung by our own artist from Meru called Nasizu. Tuko na wilipoze wetu <laughs> na itua Kofi Machete. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know them like this by name. Chief, when did Meru begin to sing? We can, we do concerts and it's just Meru's. Wait <laughs> and see. We are going to have another one yeah. before even the next general elections. Yes. All artists from Meru will be performing. I must, I'll be watch. Leading the I must watch that Meru. We have Karimi Bruno. We have Single L. So many. But congratulations for actually making Meru sing. Yes. That is an achievement. We had That's a concert. It. We've yes. been having concerts called a Meru Festival. Yes. We've showcased talents that are from Meru. And Mimi Sasa nilikuwa na showcase water. The whole of the larger Meru. Not only just South Menti. If we go to South Menti, we have bloggers that work from home. But they don't have an identity. But the Creative Economy Bill is going to give them an identity. Because they have blogs that they operate from there. And as in a somewhere, the countrywide. I tell you, I even know one. So have you Wako picked a party? A party is not an issue. Is the in Meru, it's uh, about the deliverance. Delivery. What are you coming to do? Sijamalize you a creative economy. Yeah. So the Creative Economy Council of Kenya mm. is going to help mm. artists watch the music. Oh, music, oh, music yes. And the other bit, we are here. Mm. If we tune to a station right now, Tutapata watu wanacheza Afro cinema. Hii Niger movie oh, <laughs> as if we Kenyans <laughs> cannot, do movies. cannot do movies. If you say zetu ni expense or ni cheap, cheap. Have you tried taking that money upatie some uh, production company in Kenya wakwambie hiyo pesa ni kidogo? Have you talked to Nick Mutuma? Na he's an actor. Have you talked to Catherine Gamau? Kit actress. Have you talked to Sarah Hassan? Have you talked to Brenda Wairimu? Have you talked to Jackie Nyaminde? Have you talked to these actors? Have you talked to them or come here? We can't act. There are many actors sorry. here. We can't produce those series. We can. We are just glorifying other people. The Creative Economy Council of Kenya is going to assist us. And now listen to this. Mm -hmm. We have even other platforms like YouTube, Skiza Tunes. Mm -hmm. All those platforms consume. They operate with artist content. Without the content of the artist, they, can't they cannot operate. So yeah. the artist is the main investor in these platforms. And what is going to happen? The, the Creative Economy Council of Kenya is going to assist in regulating up our two and asema to nafinyiliwa huku, to nafinyiliwa huku. The negotiation of... The negotiation should start with the... Artist. With the, no, with yeah. the Creative Economy Council of Kenya yeah. according to what the artist is going to ask them to do. Any person that is having a concert here in the country or hiring the services of a creative in the country, they need to get a letter from, from the Creative Economy Council of Kenya authorizing them to use our la artist. Mm -hmm. If we are going to, we are not saying we lock out other, other international, international artists. Guys, yeah. If they are coming here, the Creative Economy Council of Kenya should be in charge to check munawalipa namnagani. Are they overcharging you? Are you overpaying? And then the artists that are going to perform with these people, we need to have them regulated. Akuna haja Nigeria na kuja perform up with 5 million and then the Katin Reza, who is our superstar in Kenya, and I live for 10,000. It's not possible. And after all this, mm. we can now talk about, mm. when the artists have money in the pocket, we can now talk about what? The circles. You we can now have the circles. To invest and in then it. they will have money to invest where? in those places. But now, hakuna yo pesa kwa artist. You understand me? Yes. So how, how have you been going? How comes we've not hacked it? 
for all this long, if you look at a Kenyan industry, entertainment industry, for all these years, artists either die as paupers, wengine kama tuwachangi, wengine wanafungiwa nyumba. In the meantime, before we get this rolling, how do we, how would we sort these artists? We have Short been... Term. On, Rome was not built in a day. Mm. Look at this wonderful place here, Standard. Yes. It keeps changing every single day. This was not the original <laughs> idea, <laughs> yes. but this is what now you have. It out we into. started, first of all, building talents. They were not there as many as they are today. Yeah. We have very young people, very many young people that are making money off content creation, mm. but they don't have an identity. Mm. They are called meme lords or something. Mm. We don't recognize them. Other uh, companies like you know, TikTok and all those people are coming here using them. Mm. Look at what artists have become. Mm. Tumekua watua brand ambassadors. Atisasa sisi utumiwa mm. just to advertise other people without regulation. Yeah. Without those people being told for you to use how this space, this is, what this is the rating. Yeah. This, this is how we want it to be. We need regulation and the Creative Economy Council of Kenya is going to do all that. Therefore, it is coming to an end, the issue of artists mm. dying poor. We've buried several. We are not happy. We know I've been an artist. Mm. I'm not talking out of what we see. Mm. I am now from within mm. coming out mm. to say, let's do these things now. How, you're asking me how it has taken us long. Mm. No, it hasn't taken us long. Mm. We have been building. Slowly. We have been talking slow. Okay. And we have, we, have, we have approached others. Mm. Kujaribu ku, ku table these uh, issues. Mm. And talking about digitization of uh, the content, content and all yes, that. Yeah. I want to say thanks to C.S. Joe Mushebu. Mm. He actually listens to artists. Mm. He actually listens to young people. That's the advantage of having a young person mm. leading an institution. Mm. And that is why I want to urge people this time round. Mm. We have issues for the youths that needs to be addressed. Mimini to many. If I don't, then crucify me. If you don't deliver, we fire you. Yeah, fire me. Immediately, Munifute. <laughs> and I've, I've told you I'll come with the first thing as what? Uh -huh. The Creative Economy Bill, which so I will table into Parliament as a member of Parliament mm. and defend it and make sure all these things now have been ascended into law. Now, back to your default mode. Ya kuchekesha watu. Yes. Sasa MP wila na chekesha watu. Yes. What has been your inspiration and your journey, mm -hmm. the journey from this, this young boy from Meru, yes. Akajipata Mefika Nairobi City, yes. Akajipata Anafanya Comedy. Yes. How is your transformation? How, what, what are those, what you call the pain points? Yes. I can for sure tell you it has been a journey. Mm. It, is, it has been a very long journey. Mm. And Badu Ijaisha, mm. to go to kwa stage flani, yes. yeah, the next journey, journey continuing. Yes, yes. Because uh, when I came from Meru, mm. I didn't just come as a mtu ajwini nini anenda kufanya. Mm. I came on a mission. Mm. First of all, mm. I'm not from Nairobi. I'm from Meru. Mm. I was born there, mm. raised there. Mm. Then later on came to Nairobi mm. as a young person. Mm. Kujaribu kutafu? Kutafuta. Kutafuta kama wengine. It's yeah. because I wasn't, I wasn't lucky to be born in a neat family. Like mm. a neat, I mean, yenye meshikwano vizuri. Mm. Mm. Like uh, father, mother kind of a thing. Yenye, you, your father and mother are there. I didn't get to live with my parents for long. Mm. They passed on when I was very, very young. Yeah, yeah. 12 years. So yeah, I was left yeah. peke yangu. Mm. And you know, as an orphan, ukiwa mm. yatima, mm. when other people are thinking about uh, Ikifika December, they're thinking about holidays Clothes. for their kids. No one is thinking about you mm. as a yatima. Mm. When other people are thinking about January to Nataka Kurudisha or Toto Shule, Shule no nobody is thinking, is thinking about, about you, you yeah. as an orphan. Mm. When people are planning, are making plans for their kids, mm. nobody is thinking about you. Mm. So I was that person that nobody was thinking, was thinking about, about yeah. at the age of 12. I actually, even after class 8, my mother passed on mm. when I was doing my KCPE rehearsal wow. on a Monday. Wow. She died that day. Mm. Tukitoka kufanya rehearsal, mi nikifika nyumbani nasikia watu wanaimba. Mm. Tembe anai, anatembea wapi. Siwi oh. asha enda, nelimuacha kiwa mgonjo kidongo. Mm. Mm. So I knew she had gone. Mm. Tuesday, I came and did my exam. KCPE mm. exam and Wednesday and Thursday. Mm. Friday, preparations are buried and we buried her on Saturday. Afu nikabaki, 
nikabaki huko nyumbani mm. so talking of shida nani hapo egoji mm. nyumbani so mm. the meant constituency mm. when i was left there mm. nikabaki sasa mm. hakuna namna mm. sasa si lazima ujitafutie life yeah. lazima yeah, ujue yeah. now mm. you know and i was looking at mbele nyuma i was left with my grandfather and grandmother mm. hawana kitu nyumba za matope na nyasi bana ukiangalia unaona there's no way i'm gonna get out of here alive <laughs> Nikaangalia yeah. nikaona hata mimi nitakufa very soon. Shida yeah. maskini wa area yeah. walikuwa wanajua kuna maskini wengine hatari kuliko hao. We were poor na... than poor people. Hey. Yeah, we are we were poor than poor people. But I knew mm. inside me mm. this is not my destiny. Yes. This is not what I want to do. Mm. Then nikitokelezea hiyo igoji area mm. nazunguka. Mm. I was privileged to sasa wacha niseme that situation made me nitembee na mguu nikitafuta vibarua mm. after class eight, mm. the whole of igoja kuna mahali sijui mm. tunatembea tunatembea huko south mentio yote unasikia mm. wewe ushaisikia mahali panaitwa nkobo from igoji to nkobo you go drive yeah, or you far. take a mat but yeah. usha enda huko mguu ushaisikia mahali panaitwa mitongo mitongo sijasikia but ngobo ushaisikia mahali panaitwa moroka ushaisikia mwero mwero <laughs> ushaisikia <laughs> kianjogu Kianjo guni wapi? Eh yeah, kianjo. Why is that place? Yes kia karia. I oh, want to do go to places to kitafuta nini? Kibarua. Yes kibarua. Ushaisikia Moringomba ine? Ah. Imagine. <laughs> Ushaisikia Marimba. Those are places we tulikuwa tuna hustle. Kutafuta vibarua. Mimi yes. sikujua huko nikitafuta kura. I went there nikitafuta vibarua. Nishachuna majani. Hiyo mm. nakwambia ile ya Marimba. Yeah, That's why I know it very well in Kionyo. Mm. I have relatives there in Kionyo. Tunachuna mm. unaenda kwa anko zako mm. wenye ni wewe una insist sana mm. that ni maanko. Now but they are very distant cousins. Because now you are distant <laughs> uncles you force them because they have tea leaves. Yes. So wakupeki barua kuchuna yes. so that they pay you. Yes. That was the life because nobody is thinking about me when at that time I was an orphan. Ukitoka uende umeenda hakuna mtu anakutafuta. My grandfather and grandmother had 17 children. Sasa mimi watanifikiria sangapi? Kuna some of my uncles when we age mates. Now, hiyo <laughs> shida yote nikipitia huko South Ment mm. na huko Egoji yote mm. ndio ilinifanya. Thank God nikapata one of my aunties was kind enough. Hakuwa hata na kazi mzuri. Alikuwa a subordinate in, a, in some hospital called Tigani Hospital. Akanichukua akanipeleka form 1 to form 4. Haka nisaidia tu mm. na hata hiyo school fees nakumbuka when i finished school nikakuja Nairobi nikakuwa MCJC when i was going to pick my certificates to go to campus mm. ndio nilipata na kuanga na fee balance so mm. as much as i nisaidia mm. haku haweza hata kumaliza kumaliza ilikuwa too much i think it was a, she was friends with the headmaster mm. haku ananifukuza mm. i found a balance of like 64000 Yes na shule ilikuwa that time 70 something so mm. alikuwa amejaribu ku negotiate na baza mm. na kila walimu wanisamehe mm. and luckily in high school St. Cyprian boys mm. the teachers there used to be kind enough with me because mm. i used to practice a lot of talent mm. even in high school mm. now when i lived there in that kind of place mm. you uko na shida mingi sana mm. when you go back to egoji after high school unaka unaona shida tupu that's when i took a bag ka bag kangu tuka dogo <laughs> nikaeka jeans mbili ndani nilikuwa nime nimechuna chuna majani huko yeah. na nikaenda Moroka nikakatakata tobacco hivi yeah. yeah. ile tobacco mnapatia mastermind tobacco watengeneze yeah. sigara yeah. sisi ndio tulikuwa nikatakata yeah. nikapata tu pesa 850 shillings yeah. nikaeka nikanunua nguo yeah. nikaeka jeans mbili kwa bag yeah. na t-shirt mbili yeah. nikaeka bag hapa ukakuja nikasimama hapo St Mary's girls kwa stage yeah kasimamisha Nissan. Yeah. Kaingia nikalipa 400 yeah. mpaka Nairobi. <laughs> Ulikuwa unaenda wapi? Sinakuja Nairobi. Si hiyo gari iko na mwisho Nairobi. Where to? Nairobi. Who's, who's house? Nobody. Nairobi is a big city. You can sleep anywhere. <laughs> so I just came and landed in Nairobi. Nikaangalia hii city. Yeah. Nikasema wa. Like city. Yes. Wacha tungangane. I feel I, I feel like it's better. Sikuona umaskini mwingi na bado ni land huko Pasi Accra Road. Yeah. Apo Tirum. Yeah. Nikafika nikakaa uzuri yeah. Meru's are loving people. Yes. They love each other so yeah. much. As much as utaona au siasa au oh, hivi a yeah. a uh-uh, usidanganya. In as much as kuna politics. Yeah. When there's no politics yeah. we are the most loving people. We help each other. 
I got help from Meru's. In the yes. tea room, Meru. Vile nilifika tea room. Mm. Si unasalimia na salimia na watu. Eh, hey, uniaje kwa hey, yeah. na hata kuga. Yeah. Kwanza wa Meru wakiona Meru, umwambie yeah. muga baba yeah. na hata kuga. Yeah. Ai, you are brothers. <laughs> <laughs> hapa hivi, hapa ni standard group. Yeah. Ni shout na Kimeru. Yeah. You'll see a Meru answering. <laughs> Ndasema muga, mumero. Uh, somebody will say mkwa yaka. Yeah. We love each other. Ni siyasa tui na tufanyanga. They are loving people because I got help mm. from a male. He's still there, he's a friend of mine. I talk kill me. Mm. A guy there, I miss my mia matatu nyingi sana hapo. Mm. So I can be a come, pasi, kuja wingi hapa. Mm. Kuna area kama hii, mm. a space mm. where males just sit. Mm. Hey, even professionals, some of them go there. Mm. Maybe sa hii awa endi sana, but mm. I remember mm. we used to sit there. Mm. Unaka hapo kama una namnawe keti hapo. Unakula, ukichoka sana, unaka hivi. And then the following day you wake up and when day, why yeah. are you in Nairobi? You're on, my, on a mission, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go and do what brought you to Nairobi. That's what they encourage each other to do. So that's where I landed. I stayed there. I didn't have a place to sleep, so mnalala na marafiki hapo. There was another friend of ours, alikuwa na uza mira, akona kaduka kaveve, na big G na soda. So unaji squeeze hapo ndani jioni. Hey, it's called Moravi. I know he's still there, but Duke Ake ni kubwa. Tunaongea ongea, tunalala. Kesho yake unamka, unapata mahali pa kulipa 10 shillings. Uko, hapo ziriku aloji. Unalipa, unaoga. And then unakuwa msafi. Then nikaanza kutaftana na mahali nitaenda kuact. I was looking for Kenya National Theater. Yes, nikaonyeshwa. So I was going there to look for auditions. Remember I've landed in Nairobi with no... No shilling. Profession, no money, nothing. Mm. So I had to, to look for money. So what did I have? Nilikuwa na I can talk more a lot. Ata hii interview kiniachilia. Neza ongea mbaka kesho. You met, uh, as we end it, eh? you, how is your family doing? Your mother is passed on, your father, uh, family, and how did you meet Churchill? So now, after all those trying to to do like to become somebody at the Kenya National Theatre. Mm. We ended up, uh, no, I met actually a friend of mine that we used to school with. Apo mm. Pasi. Akaniambia, tukatembe kwao. Then I remember the father mm. had just won an election in 2002, because mm. this was 2004. Mm. Alikuwa mm. kiti. kiti. Yeah. parliament. Yeah. <laughs> Akanipeleka, nikatembe kwao. Nikafika kwao, nikona, nikileleshwa. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> now, where are you going to go? You are going to go. I stayed there. I decided to talk. <laughs> that guy was called Honorable Rafael Moriongi. How did you meet Jalas or Toz? And how did you guys come together and ended up hosting the row, the Churchill row? What happened is that time we met at Kenya National Theatre. Mm. It was a struggle. Yes. Then Kilam to Kenda Kivyake, mm. starting out small, small things, mm. Mm. others in true colors, others Kenya corner, mm. crazy Kenyans. Mm. There were many comedy shows that were coming up. Mm. Kujaribu too. Mm. And then also guys never used to take us seriously. Mm. So to Kapoteana Pia, mm. and I now went to school. Mm. Yes, you Nika, went back to university. The person who you are Naitua Rafael Moriongi, mm. Honorable Rafael Moriongi. Uko nilikuwa houseboy. Yes. Si nilikuwa na kaa uko nikienda National Theater. Mm. Ni kacheza kadizangu vizuri, tukiongea ongea. He sponsored me to go to Nairobi Institute of Business Studies. Oh. Kufanya journalism. Mm. A diploma in journalism. Mm -hmm. That time. Mm -hmm. At the same time, mm. uh, I used to go to a church called Winner's Chapel. Kwa mm. siku wanapata kanisa around. Mm. I only knew Holy Family Basilica because we are Catholics at home. Yeah. So ni kapata na na rafiki na ito Pastor David Adioye, uko mm. a Nigerian man. Ni Nigerian man. Yeah. Yeah. And I say, this week you shall prosper. <laughs> ni kona kumbi na Nairobi na itaji your motivation. Ya so I started prosper. listening to him. Eh, yeah. yeah, that ukiambiwa, yeah. unajua si kani sayetu na mbuangua. Yeah. Nende ni kwa amani, kumpenda na kumtumikia mungu. Mungu, yes. Misa imeisha. Yes. Ibada imeisha. Unaenda. Iyo kiswaili. Yes. Iyo ni Catholic. Catholic. Yes, Catholic. Lakini huyu ya mekuja na style ya kusema, yeah. as you go, yeah. you shall encounter face to face with your blessing. Yeah. Iyo ndi unaitaji. Iyo ndi unaitaji. Nika kwa tunakana ye ni kimsiki. Motivation. Ski. Yeah, motivation. Yes. So, that church yeah. had a, 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 a... A big auditorium. No, a university. Oh. They have a school, Bible school, called Word of Faith Bible Institute. It's mm. so big in the world. If you Google it, mm. you'll find it. So I mm. enrolled. Mm. At least nikuwa nasoma jioni. Mm. Nikienda nibs mchana, jioni naenda wapi? Mm. 
huko. Mm. Alafu nikimaliza Word of Faith Bible Institute nikasoma Christian Leadership. Mm. So that one naenda kuendelea na kazi yangu ya houseboy. Mm. Kubambanya bambanya. Mm. Then church show started because tulipoteana. Mm. At the same time I actually got a job as a journalist mm. here. Up at standard. At standard yes, I remember as you. Are, inter, I remember you here. Yes, nikakuja yes. tukaanza kufanya fanya kazi yes. nikijaribu kukua mm. a journalist. Mm. But inside me I knew mm. I wanted to do more. Mm. So from then nikiwa hapa as a journalist I used to go mm. to carnival to audition for church show. Mm. Natoka hapa standard na katia pale naingia Kani, Kani. na audition yeah. siku anafanikiwa until like after like one year mm. then after one year we met with Churchill kwa cho mm. mm. akikoja you know you rain on mtaro kila mtu anaenda eh, pale kani boy eh, tukakutana ala eh yeah. ah eh ah yeah kanambia yeah. dueno ni kanambia yes jua alikuwa amenisahau yeah. kutoka hiyo time we were at national theater and now he has a tv show yes so tukaongea ongea kidogo akani nikampea idea mm. nikambia why don't you create yeah a segment in your show he used to do church in live your interviews anachekesha watu and all that nikamwambia we are so many that are comedians mm. why don't you give other guys an opportunity i've never seen a star who goes on stage without cutting razors yes nikamwambia why don't you have other comedians that are auditioning here cc has cutting razors to kwe mm. tunakuja before wewe mm. nikamwambia it's a good idea cuz jc here mimi mm. kazi yangu ni ku develop ideas 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 yes nikamwambia yeah Why don't you do it? Kambia mm. what? Kambia why don't you do it? Mm. Nikidhani anaambia next week ananiambia tonight. Let's do it tonight. He was recording that day. Mm. Ha, niliomba hata suti. <laughs> niliomba <laughs> suti kwa driver wake. Eh? Driver wa church. Alikuwa anakuja kanisa yetu. <laughs> Nikamwambia I know you eh. nimepewa chance. Give me your suit. Ukava. <laughs> Akanipea eh hey, he was a pastor. Akanipea suti yake nikavaa. Mm. Driver wa church. Mm. Nikaenda on stage. Mm nikaenda kufanya chenye iko kwa akili yangu mm. i host a segment before church la kuja on stage mm. for upcoming artists yes. because that was what is in my head mm. nikaambia church you leave it to me let me show you what is in my head mm. so when i did it luckily that day mm. we had the bosses from ntv that time mm. wamekuja kuona what happens in the show. during the, on the show mm. wakaona wako ka segment wakauliza church how comes you have never given us this other segment mm. uzuri church ni mjanja na is a uh, very humble guy mm. akwambia eh hey, we can give you mm. kambia package it waka i package mm. waka say fuck the guy who was hosting let him continue hosting the show mm. that's how church in raw was born Oh, yes. fantastic. fantastic. Out of an idea. Which you, for, which out of out, out idea in the urino. Yeah, in the urino. <laughs> But I had, I had thought about it for quite a while how we can incorporate other talents mm. into TV. And then I became in charge of mm. now that particular one raising people we cre- we formed a whole big uh auditioning team that used to audition all these people listening to them mm-hmm. vetting the content and then you know recording them and i i was the one who was now encouraging them teaching them showing them the stage performances oh, it's, it's a whole big training it's a whole can. shebang it's a whole shebang i tell you so y- y- that's y- how we became to be those people now great and you know you can't be an mp watakuliza bibi ako api eh? you know mm-hmm. you know kenyan politics they yes. want to know are you married do you have a house in the village yeah. Amo, you, They want you, to know all those nuns, uh, th- all like stuff. in Meru we don't look as such yeah. a lot. But yeah, yeah. it's good to make sure umejipanga. Yes. In as much as we don't talk about the private lives that we don't yes. that I personally don't. Yes. Yeah, nimepanga kila kitu. Iko sawa. Iko sawa. It's just that we don't talk about it. You know why? Mm. I don't expose my kids and every of other course, person because the media, they are yeah. a soft point of attack. Yes. Someone will try to attack my family in the name of bringing me down. The person that is known is MC Jess. Yes. He's the one who entertains you. He's the one running for the office. Show. Yeah. If you want my family, then be my close friend and then, then I I'll introduce you, you to, to, my to them. But about discussing all this Ooh, like, no no I just find it unnecessary because okay. Okay. we are the public figure every time ukitoka hivi kwa mlango even the Mwewe neighbor anaanzanga kukusalimia hmm. anakuita MCJ yes but in the house you are a daddy a mami you are a father, kuna mami kuna yes. father yes. you are a husband but hmm. ukitoka nje nao unashangiliwa na kila mtu so you don't want to have that in the house wacha ukirudi unarudi nyumbani unatulia unatulia you yeah. have a peaceful place you yeah. have a haven of peace yeah. where you you retreat yeah. when yeah. the world is on fire you retreat back to your cool place yeah. with your family 
about so, sijui kujenga and all that in Meru people look at they don't look an at individual. Ah, However, uko, I come from a humble background. We were not privileged to be the ones building mansions. Uko. <laughs> Lakini, yeah. tuko na mahali pa kwa kulala. When I started building my house, mm. which I don't talk about, mm. imeka because mm. unajenga hapa. Next, ni watu maskini. Yeah. Kuna wajane. They are little, wa, wanawake ambao wameachwa peke yao. Mm. Mm. So what do you do? Do you, you help them? Ukijenga, you, you have to help them first. Mm. Wezi kuja usimamishe kibanga lo hapa, yeah. kimansion, and your neighbors are poor. Yeah, you can. When navuruta maji, give them water. That's yeah. what I did. Ma, wakati nikuwa na jenga hapo, mafundi wangu wananimbia, eh, hey, ule mwanamke neighbor, mm. Pascalina, mm. ananyeshewa. Tauza kwa hivo, manasema Jesse. Wati wa wata mabati. Wata hizi mabati, tuwa jenge. Tuwa jenge kwa. Na bia, okay, take them. Enda muwa jenge. Wana jenge wa nyumba inaisha. My neighbors, unavuta stima utapitishaji kwa shamba za watu. Na wana. Atilete kwa hako. Na wana stima. Yeah. Niliambia hawa tu walikuwa na niekea Kenya Power. Nikaambia drop stima kwa hizo nyumba, kwa hizo nyumba zenye tunapitia. My neighbors cannot be in darkness. And I'm in light. Yeah. Nikaambia weka stima. So I put light kwa the whole village. Ah, interesting. Water, the whole village. Why? Ah. I can't believe like that. So, at a nyumba ikika along kama uja jenga. Because it's you're okay. helping. You're other helping people. the society. Yeah, I can't just yeah, have a key mansion there. And so, that is not a factor. Yeah. The factor is, what am I going to, to do, do for them? For the South Imenti people. people. The region in Egoji that has been neglected by, by the sitting member of parliament or any other that has not seen development in a while. What am I going to do for them? I come from that place. We unajua kwetu siyezi toka nitembe giza iko huko. We need help. <laughs> we need help. When you go to Metongo, kuna masoko za mandizi. We, we have brokers wanakuja, wanaingia in between the farmer yeah. and the person that is consuming the product. Uko Metongo, malina kuambia, mm. we are going to have a very good mm. soko ya mandizi and connect them mm. to the people that are consuming what? The, 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 the bananas, bananas directly. So that the market is from here directly to what? Nairobi. To, the, to yeah. Nairobi or wherever bananas yeah. are yeah. going to be sold. Yeah. And then when it comes to the other side, the top side near the mountain, mm. we have tea in my constituency. Mm. These farmers, luckily, by the grace of God, Nimepata now, the factories, mm. they are authorized to sell their own tea to the... KTDA. To the, not KTDA. Mm. The factory, Kinoro Tea Factory, Imenti Tea Factory, Lai Factory, all those factories, mm. they can sell their produce directly to the consumer. Oh. So all they need is a market. By the grace of God, mm. I've traveled so much in this country. Mm. And if you look at it, from where I come from, Apo, uh, Igoji, Igoji and South Imenti, yeah. inside Imenti is not a big area. It's we are big. just one community, the Merus. Yes. It's just that we have some tribes there as you are to about We are just <laughs> one team. We are all Egoji. You're now, all Egoji. We are all, no, we are all Merus. Merus, yeah. Merus. More so, South Imenti. When you go lower, you know, part of our mm. But we are South Imenti people. We have our issues that are similar. Yes. When you go to Egoji West area, kuna majani. Apogeta area, kuna majani. Nkwene, kuna majani. That is the same problem they're having. Umesaidia aje watu wale masikini mayatima kama wewe. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, what I've done is I haven't gone through all these problems in the community. Mm. I imagined the orphans in the society go through the same. Yeah. So when I became now MCJC and nikapata kidogo ya mfuko, not a lot, ile kidogo ambayo tunapata from our creative economy industry, nikaanzisha Jesse Foundation. Jesse Foundation caters for young orphans that are orphaned through HIV and cancer. Okay. Why did I choose HIV and cancer? Because cancer ina, ina maliza sana pesa ya watu. And imagine if kama ina maliza pesa ya watu wakona pesa how about that needy family? Ambao mtu wawo mepata cancer, ameenda. Walo watu wanabaki na mnagani. Those yeah. kids wanabaki ngivo. So such I adopt from orphaned through cancer. And then another one is HIV. The victimization of kids that their parents have died through HIV is even worse than the ones who are victimized you from cancer. So for me, I offer a helping hand to these young people. So I adopted a couple. It's just that you don't go. I don't post and speak about them so much because it's like also victimizing those same, same kids. Because come on, they now 
So I have done that. It's just that Nibilo Umiuliza is singe yongea sana. It's something I do for passion. It's in my heart. I just do it, you know, kwa sabu na napenda. I don't want them to go through the same thing, but I'll keep doing it. So I started Jesse Foundation to cater for orphans, uh, orphaned through HIV and cancer, needy families. So we've, we've adopted quite, quite a number. Mimi ni mzazi shule kama kinadagoreti high school. State house girls, St. Cyprian boys yenyewe, and other schools in Meru. Um, kuna wengine walikuwa nasoma mpaka wanasoma nyeri. Wala wame pita pita. Yeah, so I have a, quite a number. There are some that tumesomesha, and right now they even have a fleet of matatus here in Nairobi. Wali niambia tumetusomesha, then I assisted some of them to go to Railway Training Institute. Kutoka hapo kaniambia tuaftie kazi, kuna enye tunataka hapa ya matatu matatu. Right now as we talk, they are employers of labor. Some of them. Wali soma, wame succeed, and God is great. I feel good when I see them. Some of them give back to, like the ones I have right now when they come from Meru, Akienda, Shule, uh, Shule Zingine, Zikoku, Nairobi, they go to those guys, those guys give them fare and shopping, wanaenda Shule. So they don't even need to call me. They take care of our Wengine, because I understand the pain of, her, of an orphan. What will I do with Jesse Foundation Father? In the future, when I become the member of parliament, I'll continue because even now I'm still running Jesse Foundation. I'll continue looking for funding for Jesse Foundation. There are many foundations that exist in the world. I'll keep doing them. We, we plug in into other foundations that are able to fund your foundation. Asante sana MC Jesse, we wish you very well. We wish you that you succeed in your aspiration of being the next parliament, member of parliament for South Imenti. Asante Dugo. Thank you so much, Baba. Thanks, Baba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.